MySQL is one of the most popular relational database management systems. If you are learning SQL or working on MySQL database projects, you will require MySQL database server installed and running on your computer. Hi, my name is Pradhyan Kurnikam. I am a freelance web developer and Udemy instructor. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to download and install MySQL 8 database server on Windows 10 operating system. On your Windows 10 operating system, open web browser and enter mysql.com. Click downloads menu and scroll down to mysql community GPL downloads link. Click the link to open mysql community downloads page. Now click mysql installer for windows link. On mysql community server download page, at the time of recording of this video, the latest MySQL version is MySQL 8.0.38. If you find a new version, you can either download the latest available release or you can click this archives. Select the product version, operating system as Microsoft Windows and you get the MSI download links for MySQL installer. Download the one with large file size. Here in this tutorial, I will go with the latest release. So I will press back button. Here you can see there are two MSI installer files. From these two installers, the first one with small file size is MySQL downloader and installer package. While the second one with large file size contains all the files required for the installation. So download the one with large file size. Click the download button. If you want, you can sign up for an Oracle web account. This is an optional step. So I will skip the sign up window by clicking no thanks. Just start my download link and save the file to my computer. To save some time, I already have downloaded the installation file in my downloads folder. So I will cancel the downloads, close the web browser window and go to my downloads folder. Now let's start with the MySQL installation. If you want to learn SQL using MySQL database, check out my this SQL course on Udemy. I have provided the link in the video description. Double click the MySQL installer file. If you see a security warning message like this, click run button. I will close this downloads page window. Press yes button to allow installer to install application on your computer. It would take less than a minute to extract the files. Again press yes to launch the installer. Now the MySQL installer has been started. The first step is choosing a setup type. On this window there are four different setup types. Here you can select a setup type and in the description read more about a particular setup type. The server only option will install only MySQL server while client only option will install MySQL client products used to connect to MySQL server. The products like MySQL shell, MySQL router, MySQL workbench etc. The full install type will install all the products and features available with this installer. We will select custom type of setup so that we can customize the products for MySQL. Click next. Here on the select products window, on the left side column, we have available products for the installation. Click the plus sign in front of MySQL servers, MySQL server, MySQL server 8.0 and select MySQL Server 8.0.38. If you do not see MySQL Server product here, then most probably the new version is not available for your configuration. In that case, you will have to cancel this installation and download the previous table release from the archive page I showed you earlier. Alright, once you select the MySQL Server here, make sure you click this green right arrow button which will include the selected software in the installation. Follow the same steps for applications, MySQL Workbench, MySQL Workbench 8.0 and select MySQL Workbench 8.0.38 
and press this green right arrow and click the next button. Depending upon pre-installed software, you may or may not require to install other essential softwares. In my case, I need to install Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable. I will select the application and click this execute button. Select I agree checkbox and click install button. Once the essential softwares are installed, click this close button. Once all the required software installs successfully, click next button. Now the setup is ready to install the selected product that is MySQL Server 8.0.38 and MySQL Workbench 8.0.38. Click the execute button. It will take a couple of minutes or less to complete the installation. If both products install successfully, you will get the complete status here. Click next. And now we are on product configuration window where we can set up MySQL port number, root user password and much more. Click next to start the configuration. On type and networking window under config type, the development computer uses minimum amount of memory. Server and dedicated computer option are mainly used for web servers. So select the development computer. By default MySQL uses a port number 3306. In case you already have installed MySQL server on your computer, you will see a yellow mark over here. It means the port number 3306 is already in use. In that case you can choose the port number other than 3306. You can use a port number like 3307. If you don't see a yellow mark, you can keep the default port number. In my case the port number 3306 is available so I will keep the default. All the other options are fine. Click next. The MySQL 8 version by default uses SHA-256 encryption method to encrypt and store database user passwords. Using SHA-256 encryption is more secure compared to the previous version of MySQL. The use of legacy authentication method is suggested only if you want to make this installation compatible with MySQL 5 version. In our case, we don't need MySQL 5 compatibility, so I will use the latest password encryption method and click next. Please note this is very important step, so pay all your attention. Just like during operating system installation, we create a new user or administrator who will be using that operating system. In case of MySQL, by default, it creates a username called root user. The root user is administrator and has all privileges of MySQL database. So we must use a very strong password and most importantly, remember the password or note it down somewhere. In my case, I will use a simple password. Repeat the password. In your case, make sure to use a combination of letters, numbers and special characters. You can add additional users from this following section. We will learn more about adding new user and setting privileges in a separate tutorial. So I will click cancel and click next. The windows service option creates a new windows service instance with the given name. Make sure the start the MySQL server at system startup option checkbox is checked so that MySQL server starts automatically when your operating system is started. If you uncheck this option, every time you have to use MySQL server, you will have to manually start the MySQL server from windows service. The default option for run windows service as is fine. Click next. On server file permission window, keep the default option so that the application can save data to given folder. Click next. Now the installer is ready to apply the configuration settings we selected in previous steps. Click execute button to apply the configuration setting. It will take a minute or less to apply the configuration settings. Click finish and click next. If you encounter any error message while installing MySQL server or applying configuration settings, you can ask questions in the comment section of this video. 
uncheck start mysql workbench after setup option and finally click this finish button to complete the installation process here we successfully completed the mysql database server installation now let's open mysql server to confirm if it works click start menu all apps mysql and select mysql 8.0 command line client option Please note here you need to enter the MySQL database password you set up during the installation. Enter the password. I will enter my root user password and press enter. If you see this MySQL prompt then congratulations you are successfully logged into your MySQL database server. Here we can execute SQL statements. Let me execute a couple of SQL statements to confirm MySQL database is working fine. Type show databases semicolon press enter. This SQL statement will list all databases in your MySQL database. Create a new database using create database PN tutorials. Here PN tutorials is the name of a database we are going to create. You can create a database name of your choice. Press enter. Again type show databases semicolon press enter and sure enough our database was successfully created. Here we can confirm that our MySQL database was installed successfully and working without any issue. I will type exit press enter. Now let's open MySQL workbench to confirm if it's working. Click start menu all apps mysql and this time click mysql workbench 8.0 on this welcome screen under mysql connections click this local instance mysql 8.0 on the pop-up window enter mysql root user password and click ok button if you enter correct credentials, you would see this MySQL Workbench window. In this query window, type show databases semicolon and click this top execute button. And in the result area, you will see a list of databases which contains PN tutorials database we just created from MySQL command line client window. Here we can confirm that our MySQL workbench was installed successfully and working without any issue. We will learn more about MySQL workbench and its feature in a separate tutorial. If you want to learn SQL using MySQL database, check out my this SQL course on Udemy. I have provided the link in the video description. Congratulations once again for installing MySQL 8 and completing this tutorial. This video covered step by step mysql 8 database installation on windows 10 operating system i hope you completely understood mysql installation steps given in this tutorial now it's your time try the installation on your windows computer and let me know if it works if you encounter installation errors or didn't understand something you can ask me questions in the comment section of this video if you like this video Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.